Hello, uh, in this video we're going to show you how to record a bank receipt in your Sage One product. Uh, this is not the method where we connect our bank to our Sage One product uh, and it's not the method where we import our bank statement from an Excel or a CSV. This is where we are literally typing in the information manually um, and uh, it's just a method that some businesses still prefer to do. So here we are on Sage One. Uh, to get to the banking screen we click on the banking menu at the top and then we basically click on the new button at the top right and say we're going to record a sale or a receipt. What that will then do is it will bring up a, a couple of extra fields and it will just ask for some, for some information about where this receipt's come from. So if we just work our way through these, uh, we could say that uh, the receipt that's come in has come from A Customer Limited. And it's come into the main bank account. If you had more than one, then those will be listed here. But we just have one in this data uh, dummy data set. Uh, then it's asking for a method. This isn't very important. It's just a useful uh, reference if you're going to uh, reconcile things in the future or just double check where something came from. So we're just going to say electronic transfer was fine. Then it's going to ask for the date that it appears on the bank statement. So uh, today is absolutely fine. And if we scroll down, because we've selected a customer limited, it brings up the outstanding sales invoices that we have with this customer. So if there was three or four, we could basically tick each one of those and just add and accumulate the amount and just post it as one entry on the bank. Uh, but in this example, there is only one sales invoice outstanding for £600. So we're just going to say this is the sales invoice that's come in. Let's fully clear that down so that it no longer shows as outstanding. We don't accidentally chase them for it in the future. Um, and all we have to do then is click Save. Once that's saved, you will see our bank balance has changed from negative £660 to negative 60 because we've managed to record a £600 income or £600 receipt going into the bank. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully that's helped, guys. Uh, if there is anything else that you would like to know, please feel free to get in touch. I'm more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.